Just a little update, nothing too interesting. Um, everything's still growing in really well. Um, something cool that's kind of happened is like, so this tank, obviously there's this one sort of island and then there's this larger main island. And at first they weren't connected by anything, but I added this piece of driftwood to kind of bridge the two. But even though they are connected, I still have kind of distinct um, things happening on each one naturally in the tank, which I find fascinating. So I dumped a Siphomermex colony in here. I actually dumped them in on this side, but they have migrated over to this bromeliad. You can see they're all over this part of the tank. This is like Siphomermex Island over here. Um, let me see, just look around for a second. There's one guy right there. But they're all over here. Um, tending to their little fungus garden in the bromeliad, hunting for, or foraging for um, the oak leaf or oak flowers I put in there for them to grow their substrate on or their fungus on. And they kind of stick to this part. Whereas the frogs are almost, there's one frog that lives here and he lives way back in there, she or whomever. And all the other four frogs live on this side with the larger aggregation of bromeliads here. And so the ants kind of stay on this side and the frogs, though the frogs uh, hunt the ants, they generally stay on this side. This is where I put the fruit flies in. And then we have the one little frog that stays over here on Siphomermex Island. So I think that's kind of cool how there's like different little different populations almost forming on these two little islands, even though this is such a small tank.